Good morning, Stephen Bella. Um, morning. The newly engaged couple. Very, very exciting news. Um, I guess everyone will know Bella and Steve, probably one of the most successful um, long distance triathlon couple, I guess. In, in the, the world. In the world. I don't know, AJ and Lisbeth might have something to say about that, might they? Maybe. Oh, no, that's true, that's true. <laughs> um, Neither are we yet. So, oh, yeah. You're at TCR, come down to see, obviously, support and be with some of your sponsors. Um, are you doing the 10K this morning? Yes, and this is the first time we've managed to make it to the TCR show. Normally, we've been on the other side of the world, um, but this time we could make it. Um, last two years, I've won awards, and you have as well, haven't you? Yes. But, um, this year, we haven't won anything, and we're here. But anyway, it's, it's great to um, see all our sponsors. It's nice to give them something back, because they're... We appreciate everything they do for us, and um, it's nice to just come and see them. Yeah, we, and I mean, last night at the award ceremony, obviously, Chris e. Wellington was there and sort of pretty much wrapped up the show, didn't she? Well, absolutely, and she deserves it. I mean, I would, I would have been embarrassed if I'd won the award over the top of what she did um, but last year. she did give you a good mention. She did. How sweet of her. It was very, I was very, very touched, and I wasn't expecting her to say anything. She didn't have to, and that was a very nice little... Yeah. to do for me. Yeah. So you guys have actually been training together, haven't you? Yeah, for she, the last she joined months. our squad at the beginning of 2007 and we got to know each other and we really enjoy spending time together and training together now. I've heard that she's a bit of an axe on the bike. Oh, she's a bit of an axe for every, everywhere. She is an axe. <laughs> Swimming axe, bi uh, running and um, biking axe and um, running axe oh, and yeah. an axe. <laughs> but she's funny and she's a great person. She, um, she mentioned yesterday at the awards your, your win last year at UK um, Ironman. Um, tell us a little bit, a little bit about that race and um, what it meant to you. It was very, very special to win that race. I mean, win an Ironman, which is a big event in, in our home country. It's, it's really, really special to have won that race. And I wasn't really expecting to have won it because um, in May of last year, I got injured in my hamstring and um, I wasn't able to train well going into that race at all. I, I, was, I actually had to stop biking and running for about four weeks and just give it a bit of a rest. So I really was going in just as, well, Brett let me go it was just as training day and just to get out and about. And I was happy to be on the start line, but then I actually felt really good and maybe it was a blessing in disguise. I'd had a bit of a, a rest going into it and I had some energy. Yeah. And, um, yeah, to come through and win it was extra special. And we're going to go there again this year, and I'll try and do the same again. <laughs> Steve, you finished second there, didn't you? I was second. Um, yeah. Best best Ironman result to date, was it? Yeah, best result. Uh, and I was happy with my performance, but I was pretty uh, disappointed at the time not to win because I felt it was there to take, but I didn't probably eat enough fuel. That's my excuse, but that's what happened, and uh, I got second because of it, I think. How far were you behind the... Two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah. And I really struggled around about 13, 14 miles and then got some foot calories in, but I lost all the time in the next few miles. And when it started to kick in, then uh, I was running all right. Not, but it's not a lot, is it, over an Ironman distance? So No, not a lot, but it's enough. <laughs> so you're going back this year? Yeah, going back this year. Try and win this year. What other plans have you got for this year? Um, well, Hawaii is the big plan. I've qualified uh, at Florida the end of last year so that's the big aim and uh, apart from that everything's just going to be building up for that but we're doing Ironman New Zealand in three weeks three weeks time yeah then South Africa then Lanzarote then we'll do maybe a couple of halves and Ironman UK and then go to Hawaii I know I know you've been up in um, your Swiss or base yeah. in Leysin have you been managing to bike up there? Because it's been pretty snowy, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been great, actually. Um, I've been going down to the bottom of the hill uh, in Aigla, which is the UCI's base, so they've got a velodrome there. So I've been going three times a week on the velodrome with uh, Andrew Johns and some other guys from the village, and it's been really good to get a really good Excellent. solid session. And apart from that, riding on the turbo... In our, in our little apartment, yeah. and it's it's been good training. We haven't probably done the amount of hours we would have done if we were somewhere warm, but we've done some really good solid cycling. And quality training. I mean, yeah. the the training we've done has been all indoors, but just so quality. And um, in the gym, we've been trying to get our muscles a bit stronger. Lots and, of treadmill work. And lots of treadmill work. Yes, the treadmills have been working hard, and um, turbo's working hard. And I mean, it's going to be great going to the Philippines to join the team for 10 days prior to New Zealand and just get out on the road and 
and get used to that again. And How long are you planning on staying in the Philippines for? It's actually just a short trip. It's going to be 10 days before then we then leave to Ironman New Zealand, but at least it gets us into the time zone of New Zealand and gets us almost over that side of the yeah. world, so it gets a, a huge Great amount of travel of done and um, just be with the group and some warmer weather because it will be good to be in some warmer weather having and been in cold weather. So. And then plans after Ironman New Zealand? Back to the Philippines for oh. preparation for Ironman South Africa. Okay. And then a lot sort of long term for this year towards Hawaii? Um, yeah, same as Stephen. We've got, we, we've got our season set us up so that we're sort of doing it together. We don't really like being apart. It doesn't really work for us. So um, we'll both be going to South Africa then. Lanzarote and Hawaii at the end of the year, we hope. And you've got you've got a big date at the end of the year, probably more important than any race that you're going to do. November the 29th? Yes, that's our wedding day. We've managed to get a date and a venue in Perth and Scotland. And um, in between training, we've been working at organising that and it's going to be a really fun day. But it had to be at the end of the season, so it did fit into our schedule and everyone else's. But it's going to be a great day. Our family's all really excited and we're really excited to be married and... Um, Great. Very nice talking to you. I'm not going to hold you up because I know you've got about half an hour to go before the For Goodness Shakes 10k. Biggest race of the year. Biggest race I've of the year. I've won this race. Have you? Four years ago. You've got Rich Stannard. You're up against Rich Stannard. What do you think your chances are? Against Richard. Oh, it's tough. <laughs> I'm just going to follow him and see what happens. Oh, is that, I shouldn't tell people my tactics. Well, he might be listening. All right. I'm going to run as fast as I can. Cool. What about you, Bella? Um, I mean, it's not, 10K is not really my thing, but it's an absolutely great training session, I suppose. And um, I think there's one girl that I, is supposed to be a bit of competition for me, um, Emma. Yeah, um, Emma Davis. Davis yeah. And, um, so I'll do, I'll do my best and see what happens. Okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll be watching you, that's for sure. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.